Hey guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and today we're going to have a quick look at a tutorial to uh, use monitors. So this is something that I've been using in my Let's Play um, and I just had to know a little bit more about it. Not in, not massively in detail, just you know the simple commands. So let's get uh, right into it. So first of all we've got a computer graph monitor, um, computer right there. So you know how to make that already. Um, so to make a monitor you use 8 stone cooked stone and a glass pane so very cheap very easy um, so I've got a 64 here already now you place them anywhere next to a computer um, and the cool thing about these is that they connect to each other so this is now one monitor um, I can connect another two screens next to it that's now one monitor uh, you have to be a bit careful make sure that they're connected like this does not count as a monitor uh, but this will so yeah, you just have to be a little bit careful sometimes uh, But this is now one big giant ass monitor pretty cool Radio, so let's go in here and let's make a little program called hello So the first thing we need to do in our program is acknowledge that that monitor is there and That we want to use that monitor. So we go local mon which just means make a variable called mon and we can assign that peripheral like that, dot wrap and then the side that the monitor is on so for me the monitor is on the right side of the computer so right and that's pretty much it it's as simple as that so just to make sure we do a mon.clear that will just clear the whole monitor so there's no text or anything on it and then we can say mon.write um, hello for example then we press control save and we run the program and there you go hello that is as easy I mean it, it doesn't get much easier now there's a oops there's a few more things we can do with this um, that will come in handy I think so the first thing you can do is set cursor pos and this will determine where it's gonna write this hello uh, so we can write it at two point no maybe one point two maybe you know and let's see what this does. Uh, it, I, I've noticed that it's sometimes a bit freaky. Uh, but as you can see, it's now one line further down. And this becomes more obvious when we try. Watch it. See, see, see. Um, when we try mon dot set text scale. Uh, and this you can do f 0 to 5. Well, 0 0.5 to 5. So 0 0.5 is the lowest, which makes very small text. 5 is the highest, which makes quite big text. Um, so again, we save it. And we run it. Oh, and there we go. Hello. And as you can see, it's not at the top. It's right there. So that is pretty much all I wanted to show you with monitors. Um, it's only one way. <laughs> Um, but it looks pretty cool. It works brilliantly. Uh, I just wish this text could be bigger. Yes, I use it sometimes bigger um, for a big countdown clock, for example. Um, but it's it's cool, you know. This works very well. Um, I also think that that's pretty much all the monitor related commands you have. Um, there's a few other obvious ones, but these are the main ones. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.